Now, in the previous lecture, we understand how to pass data from parent to the child. In this lecture, we are going to understand how to pass data from child to the parent. Passing data through child to parent component is little tricky. Let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how to pass data from child to the parent component. So I'm going to create a new file inside this app folder and I'm going to name this file child to parent.js. Inside this file, I'm going to create a functional component. So I'm going to say react functional component. And now to pass data from child to parent, you need to do few things. You need to create a callback function inside a parent component. This callback function will get the data from the child component. Pass the callback function in the parent as a property to the child component. The child component calls the parent callback function using property. So let me just add here a comment parent component. Let me create a child component here. So I'm going to say here child component. To create a child component, I'm going to simply say here function and I'm going to name this component pizza. You are free to specify any name to this component. That's upon you. Inside this division tag, I'm going to call this pizza component. So I'm going to just copy it and here I'm going to call this pizza component and just close it like this. Just out of that, I'm going to pass here property to this pizza component. So I'm going to say here props. So now I can pass value to this pizza component using this parent component. So I'm going to just pass here property and inside it, here I'm going to just return a JSX. So inside this parenthesis, I'm going to say UL and just add here LI tag. Inside it, I'm going to say here pizza size and I'm going to just add a curly braces here like this and create a property here. So I'm going to use props dot size. I'm going to duplicate this statement to create another property. And I'm going to say here props dot price. So I'm going to first print the size of the pizza and then I'm going to print the price of the pizza. Just down here, I'm going to create a button. So I'm going to say here button and to this button, I'm going to specify value change size. And inside this button, I'm going to create on click event on click is equal to and pass here curly braces. So inside this pizza component right here, let me create handler function. So here I'm going to say constant on trigger. You can specify any name to this handler function that's upon you. And then I'm going to pass an arrow here. So this will create a simple function and inside it, I'm going to create a property. So I'm going to say here props dot parent callback. I'm going to create a property and pass parenthesis to it. So now you can notice this is now a type of method. Using this property, I'm going to create a method of this component. When you pass parenthesis to your property, the property became method. So this is a type of method now. And to this method, I'm going to pass here a value small. Just out of that, I'm going to just pass this handler function to this on click event. So I'm going to say here on trigger. Until now, it's easy to understand. Next, I'm going to call this handler function using this parent component and I'm going to change the value of this pizza using this child component. I'm going to pass this small value to this pizza component using this child component. So I'm going to just pass data from child to the parent component using this technique. So let me first create here a state inside my parent component. Here I'm going to create a state. So I'm going to just see here constant and in the array, I'm going to say order and set order is equal to I'm going to call here use state a hook of react and inside it I'm going to pass an object to this object I'm going to say size medium and I'm going to specify price eight dollar so this will create a state and specify initial value to this order variable just for that let me specify this order variable to this pizza so here I'm going to pass curly braces pass spread operator with three dots and then I'm going to say here order. So I'm going to just pass this order variable to this pizza. So I'm going to have these values to these properties. For now, let me add here a command like this. Save this file back to index.js and remove this parent to child and add this child to parent component here. Like this. Save this file. Close this parent to child. As you can see. As you can see, you're going to have your pizza size medium and the pizza price $8. Oops, I think I misspelled the size here. And the pizza and the pizza price is $8. So you can notice this is the initial value of this order variable. I'm going to pass that using this spread operator. 
Now what I want, I want to change this size value of this state but using child component. To do that, I'm going to just simply create here a constant handler function. So I'm going to say here constant handle callback is equal to and here I'm going to just pass a function. I'm going to simply say console.log and I'm going to just first print my order back to my browser and reload it. Right now, you can notice I don't have anything inside my console. And uh, just down here, let me uncomment this statement. I'm going to pass value to this parent callback. As you know, to create a property, we use property object. Let me just call this method using a parent component. So at the top, here I'm going to pass this method like this and just pass a value to it. And inside this curly braces, I'm going to pass this handle callback. I'm going to just pass this handle callback function to this parent callback. So when I click on the button, this button will first going to call this on trigger function. And this function is going to just trigger this parent callback method. And we're going to pass value to this method using this property. Here, I just created a method parent to callback. And to call this method, I'm using the name of the method is equal to and pass here a callback method. So I'm going to just create a handler function inside this parent and just pass that to this parent to callback. As you know, both are the functions. So you will not get any error here. Let me save the changes and back to the browser and show you the result. When I back to the browser and when I click on this change size, I'm going to have the state as a response in my console. Now what I want, I want to get this small data from child to the parent. To do that, as you know, we pass here a value small to this method. I can get this value inside this handle callback when I pass here a parameter. So for example, if I pass here child data, then I can access this small value using this parameter. Let me show you. If I copy this, paste it here, and when I click on this change size, as you can see, I'm going to have small as a response. So when I call this handle click, it's going to get the value from the child and pass that to this parameter. And I'm going to just print that parameter. Now what I want, I want to change this size using this parameter value. Let me do it. If I just specify here set order, this function allows us to change the value of this order variable. So inside this parenthesis, I'm going to pass an object and specify here size child data. Back to my browser, reload it. And when I click on this button, it will change the size of this pizza. When I click on the change size button, it's going to remove that pizza price and just initialize this pizza size property. And right now, I don't have any value to this pizza price. Let me solve this problem. What you need to do is, you need to get the initial value of your state and change only those things which you want to update. To do that, I'm going to just pass here a callback function to this set order. Instead of this object, I'm going to pass here a callback function like this. Inside this parenthesis, I'm going to pass here state parameter. Now this state parameter is going to return the initial state of your object. If I just say here console.log and if I say state, let me reload the browser and click on the button again. You can see I have size and the price key in my state. Now what I want, I want to just update this size property. To do that, I'm going to just get rid of this console and here I'm going to say return and return an object. And inside this object, I'm going to first say here size and pass here child data back to my browser and reload it. When I click on the change size, it's doing the same thing. To fix this, you need to pass this initial state right here with spread operator. So you just need to call here a spread operator with the initial state just like this. Back to my browser, reload it. And when I click on this button, as you can see, this will just change this size property and I'm going to have the price as well. That's easy, right? So now you can notice we are changing the value of this parent state using our child component. We pass the value to the child component and change the state of the parent component using child. So this is how you can pass the data from child to the parent component. Practice with this code to understand it clearly. Next, we're going to see how to pass data between siblings.